Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I wanted to share three to six month must-haves. Do you guys remember when I did the newborn to three month must-haves? You guys seem to really enjoy it, so I wanted to do um, these types of videos regularly where I do like a couple of months. And this time around, it's three to six month must-haves. Right now, Jacob is five months. So I'm just sharing things that I love from experience. And I'm not say saying that you guys have to get every single thing. I just found that these items are very helpful during these months. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanted to share is I noticed around the three to five month mark. Well, I can only say five months because Jacob is still five months, but I noticed that he's teething a lot. So teething toys are really important. It kind of alleviates like the pain when they're chewing. Jacob just loves to chew on like his teething toys and sometimes um, I'm very grateful that he chews on his teething toys because I'm a nursing mama and the pain you feel when your child thinks you you are a teething toy is not fun. <laughs> yeah, so teething toys are a must. Another must have, I think, no matter how old, are books. But when they're around three to six months, I notice that they want to put everything in their mouth, right? So get something that is a little bit more durable, like board books or books that you can put in the washing machine because they are putting it in their mouths. And I like books that are soft, that have texture, interactive books, something like this, Fuzzy Bee and Friends, because Jacob likes to just grab it and like, like just listen to the sounds of it. And then I like that, um, you know, he can touch different types of textures, like this is soft, this feels silky, um, you know, it's really colorful and bright. And another thing related to teething is, you know, when babies are teething, they drool a lot. And so what I find helpful are bibs. Just, you know, anytime you're going out or you notice your baby's drooling a lot more than usual, you know, put a bib on your baby and it'll absorb the drool. Because I notice sometimes I don't have a bib on Jacob and like it gets all over his clothes and and then I change him so a bib actually will prevent me from changing him 10 zillion times a day if you are feeding your baby baby food um, what I recommend are like these tiny little spoons they're by Gerber and I like them better than um, bigger like kid spoons like munchkin I like the Gerber ones because they're soft and sometimes when you're feeding a baby like they move their mouth so quickly you don't want to like hurt them in the soft tip I feel will kind of avoid any situation and it's perfectly like the size is perfect for their little baby mouth I that's what I love using for Jacob and like I find those on Amazon and they're not very expensive I'm sure you can find them at Target as well you're gonna need baby containers things to um, put the baby food um, something to use to make the baby food if you are making the baby food I like the baby bullet I got it as a gift from family and it's my first time like using a you know specific baby food maker and I was a little skeptic at first but I actually honestly really like the baby bullet because I can make small amounts of baby food and when I make small amounts it's to me it's fresh because sometimes instead of like freezing his baby food I'll just do a avocado banana mixture and I make that like on the spot like right before he eats it and I can make tiny little amounts like really fresh amounts just the amount that he's gonna eat and that little baby bullet whole like little cup that I can use to blend his food just it's the perfect size for me to make it uh, like because I used to do a really big blend tech and I like that for like butternut squash sweet potato like huge amounts of food but if I'm doing just individual size at the moment the baby bullet is amazing and then the baby bullet has the bigger um, container and then I use that to puree like green beans and things like that but if you guys want a separate baby food video I will have I'll be so happy to do it. Because so at three months, the babies are awesome on the play mats, on the swings, which is really great. But I notice when they get a little older, when their head is a little sturdier, um, a bumbo is great like when you're feeding your baby. Because I find that a high chair isn't, um, I find that a high chair just, it's not appropriate for a three month old, you know what I mean? Um, so what I noticed is the bumbo helps Jacob sit down as I feed him and that's just great. I'm sure that when Jacob is a little older, a high chair will be suitable for him, but at this age, not quite yet. So a bumbo is great. Also around this age, usually around the four month age, their head is a little sturdier, um, but I like to wait a little longer until like five months or so. 
I like to have Jacob on, you know, those extra saucer activity gyms where they're standing. And I noticed like it's changed like his day so much. He loves it. He enjoys all the different things. The um, extra saucer activity gym that I have for Jacob has like these lights that he can kind of step on um, and it plays music. They're like little step on piano. There's just so many different things around him that he can touch and grab onto like bite and it's very easy for me to disinfect. So I just love that little extra saucer because you know he can be in the kitchen. I'll have him kind of close to me but not too close to where I'm cooking because I don't want anything to splash on him or anything like that but I can see him as I'm cooking and then he knows I'm like right next to him which is really great. I think this is totally a must have but it's music, any type of music like I'll just hold on to Jacob and we'll dance to like any song. It doesn't have to be baby music. It can be any type of music that you like. Maybe something that doesn't have curse words because I mean I know they're young. I know that they don't understand yet but like they're sponges. They will absorb it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I noticed Jacob's favorite song is this song called The Happy Song. I just play it on YouTube. I'll link it below. I'll put it in the information box. But it's uh, it's such a happy song and like it's like ring ring all oh, the bicycle. I just love that song too. It's just a happy song. Um, Jacob loves it. Every time he hears it, he lights up. That's, that's our song together. I think it's just so special. <laughs> and he loves that song. So play all sorts of music. We have CDs. We play music in the car. We have classical music for the babies. We did this with Liam too and he just loves music. The last thing that I think is definitely a must have, especially now that it is fall and it's going to be winter soon is a sleep sack because if you notice around three months they no longer want to stay like swaddled up but you still got to make sure they're warm at night and a sleep sack is great because they're wearing their blanket they can still flip over with their sleep sack because Jacob rolls over and like the sleep sack doesn't prevent him from rolling over when he wants to like find a comfortable sleeping position but I'm just so thankful for a sleep sack because not only does it keep your baby warm, I did mention this in a video before, but you know, one time I caught Jacob sleeping in just his regular pajamas and he got his foot stuck in the rails, you know, the crib rails. And when he wears a sleep sack, that issue doesn't ever happen. We don't have um, crib liners um, on purpose just because I read that um, they're not safe, it, you know, the it doesn't help with circulation, air circulation and things like that. Even though we had a breathable like mesh bumper, I just decided to just take it out. Like it was just decorative reasons, right? Um, so I just decorative and also prevent the baby from putting their foot on the rail or in the rail. But I find that the sleep sack helped with that situation. So definitely get yourself a sleep sack. There's all sorts. There's like fuzzy ones that I bought at Carter's. There's the Aiden and a Nye one that's made of like a I think a muslin type of fabric. It's nice and thin, so that's better for like cool, like kind of cool weather, but not like super cold, you know, because when the baby's really cold, that's not gonna keep them that warm. So I would prefer the fuzzy one for like winter or colder nights. But those are just some of my ideas for three to six month must haves. I am sure I missed a lot, but I didn't want to be repetitive with the newborn must-haves. Of course, you're going to need, you know, your car seat, a stroller, um, a baby wearing, you know, thing that you like to use, like an air goal, which is what we love. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, give my video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!